Presentation of this program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by annual financial support from viewers like you. Dennis the Menace's mom. Oof. Mm. Mm. Good choice. All right. I got one for you. Let's say you had to kiss one of the monkeys. Which one would it be? What? You got no choice. You got to kiss one of the monkeys. Uh, the... Peter. <sighs> Who'd you kiss? Well, not Peter. Why not? Anybody but Peter. Okay, who would you kiss? I, I don't know. Probably Mike. Mike's rich. He is? Yeah. His mom invented Whiteout. Really? Yeah. She was like a secretary in Texas or something, and she invented Whiteout and made a ton of money. Mike. Definitely Mike. <laughs> Stephen Banks show, but first, let's hear from the people who bring you the Stephen Banks show. This is Mariana. Yes. I've got your new switch plate, and I could put it in tonight. Yes. And I'll also pick up your rent check. No. <laughs> Hello, Stephen. This is Stephen. Don't forget the rock and roll auction at 7, channel 13. I won't. And balance your checkbook. Mm. And pay the rent. Mm. She must have the rent. She must have the rent. Six hundred dollars. That will leave exactly nada. Yeah. Time to do my balancing act. But first. UPS, it's Lupe. Oh, hi, Lupe. Buenas tardes, Esteban. Mom and Dad are in London. What? Texas. Oh. Museum of English Things. Oh, I wonder what it is. Yeah. You want me to open it? Oh, no, no, no. You can open it later. <laughs> oh, cool. Look at this. The Beatles. Ooh, I had one of those ones when I was a kid, except it was menudo. And when one got too old, you know, you could snap off their head and put on a new one. <laughs> well, I'll be the same, baby. See you later. Thank you, Lupe. <laughs> London. Let's see. London. Texas. Let's see. Dear Stephen, hello, Ducky. London, Texas is wonderful. I laid down in a replica of the exact spot that Anne Boleyn was beheaded and Daddy took a picture. Did you know she had an extra finger and three nipples? Uh -huh. I think you'll enjoy the enclosed surprise. Time for tea. Love, Mater and Pater. Ladies and gentlemen, the Stephen Banks Show is proud to present The Beatles Story. Hey, what's your name, mate? Paul. We want to start a band and change the face of pop music forever. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Cavern Club is proud to present The Beatles! <laughs> Hello, Beatles. I'm Brian Epstein. How would you like to become bigger than Elvis? <laughs> it looks pretty big to me. Thank you very much, George. Well, first, you've got to get rid of Pete Best. Okay. 
Ringo, Ringo, meet the Beatles. Beatles, meet Ringo. Hello, Ringo. Hello, Beatles. Hello, Bingo. Hello, Beatles. Okay, now let's fly to America and conquer it. Dun 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 Oh, flew into Miami Beach. We haven't written that song yet. Sorry. <clears throat> so, Beatles, how'd you find America? We turned left at Greenland. And now, here they are on our stage, the Beatles! Hey, let's make a movie. It's been a hard day. Let's make another one. Help! This one wasn't as good as the first one. No, but it'll set the standards for rock videos forever. And it's in color. Hey, look, we're bigger than Jesus. Burn, Beatles, burn. Burn, Beatles, burn. Burn, Beatles, burn. Burn, Beatles, burn. Hey, look, isn't that Bob Dylan? Ooh, hey, Beatles, try some of this. Ding, 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 ding. Hey, look, isn't that Lucy in the sky? Ricky! Oh, hello, Beatles. Please come to India. George, you learn to play sitar. Hey, look. Brian's dead. Hey, look. Paul's dead. Just kidding. Hey, guys, I want you to meet me new girlfriend, Yoko. Hey, guys, I want you to meet me new girlfriend, Linda. Hey, what are you bringing to the studio for? Hey, saw it off. You got a big nose. Hey, I hate the sit tall. Hey, you're shot. Hey, you're... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so, George, what are you going to do now that the Beatles have broken up? Oh, lose me wife to me best friend, become a religious nut, and rip off the chiffon he's so fine. How about you, Ringo? Oh, marry me a sexy actress, become an alcoholic, sober up, and then star in a kiddie show about trains. How about you, Paul? Well, I think I'll try to teach Linda how to sing, hang out with that kid from the Jackson 5 a bit, and get boosted in Japan. What about you, John? Uh, live in New York, bake bread. John, let's go home. The new album is fine. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mr. Lennon? show you some of the finer items we'll be auctioning off this evening. Janis Joplin's last bottle of Southern Comfort. Oh. Elvis Presley's last Nutty Buddy. Oh. The original handwritten lyrics to Louie Louie. Oh. Willie Nelson's 1044. Oh. Rick Allen's wristwatch collection. Oh. Ike Turner's Brass Knuckles. Oh. Michael Bolton's Hernia Truss. Oh. Tiffany's Retainer. Oh. Pete Townsend's Very First Guitar. Oh. Bobby Sherman's Original Love Beans. Mm. Keith Richards' Original Blood. Oh. And our final item, ladies and gentlemen, the original drummer for the Beatles, Mr. Pete Best. Hello. Authentic by the artists themselves. Hi, Mariana. I have your switch plate. This will just take a minute. Oh. Take your time. No, no, no hurry. Okay. Um. Uh, is that a new toolbox? No. Um, I'm just watching oh, TV. Don't mind me. But if you'd like to bid by telephone, you may do so by dialing 555-R-O-C-K. Now lot number one, Bob Dylan's cigarette butt. Smoked at the concert for Bangladesh, shared and signed by Mr. Dylan, George Harrison, Ringo Starr, Eric Clapton, and Leon Russell. 
The bidding will begin at one thousand dollars. Do I hear what kind of an idiot would want to buy a thing, sir? Uh, anyway, one thousand five hundred. I can't afford any of this stuff anyway. Oh, speaking of which, the rent. Oh, yeah, it's right. Lot number two, Ringo Starr's sock symbol. Bidding will start at seven hundred dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, start your bid. Uh, uh Mar Mariana, who, who's your, uh, who's your, who's your favorite Beetle? Oh, Paul. Oh. Uh, that's, that's, that's George. Looks like Paul. Well, they all kind of look like Paul. It's huh. Paul's left-handed. I'm still mad at him. He never wrote me back. Hey, do you, you remember the, then the first time on Sullivan? Oh, sure, of course. Oh, man. You know what? The thing I remember the most about that were the Beetle boots. Oh, man, I, I wanted Beetle boots so badly, my parents wouldn't get them for me. And I, all my friends had Beetle boots. Yeah, my brother had a pair of Beetle boots. See, everybody had Beetle boots. It was, I left notes all over the house. I had little signs that said, buy Stephen Beetle boots, sign the Phantom. My dad said, no, they weren't appropriate shoes. God, they really. Well, I, in 64, Beetle boots were very important. Yeah, I remember when I was a little girl, my parents wouldn't let me have a slip and slide. I went to my room and I cried for hours. Well, that should do it. Oh, by the way, do you have something for me? Yes. Oh, uh, Stephen. <laughs> Stephen! <laughs> Stephen! I meant the rent. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Right. Bring it by tonight. Lennon's guitar. The bid is $400. 400 Ah, $500. Thank you very much. 550, 550, do I hear six? $600, ladies and gentlemen, $600. Hi, this is Stephen Banks. Yeah, I, I want to bid $601. We now have $601. $601 going once, $601 going twice. Yes! For $600. Yes! Ouch! Oh, yes! Thank you. God, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. John Lennon's guitar. Gee. God, I don't believe it. Think if that thing could talk. What was it like working with John? Awful. His hands were always sweating like a bleeding pig. And he was always dropping his ciggies in me hole. And I didn't write no bleeding first class either. Throws me Fritz off in the baggage compartment. Bloody Beatles. <laughs> Marty, you're not going to believe this. I got, I got one of John Lennon's guitars. Sure, sure. No, I'll, no, sure, I'll call you when I get it. I, I got another call. Okay. Hello? Oh, man, you aren't, you're not going to believe this. Listen, listen. I bought one of John Lennon's guitars. Sure, yeah. Uh, someone's at the door. I'll talk to you later. Doctor, come here. You're not going to believe this. Sit down. Sit, 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 sit. This, this is incredible. This, I bought the coolest thing in the world. I bought one of John Lennon's guitars. Yoko, have a garage sale? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm serious. There was this charity auction on television. I bought one. Wait a minute. Wait. You, you really? John Lennon's guitar? Yes, I don't know whether to play it or make a shrine. Wait a minute, or... wait a minute. Just let me think. Let me think. Wait a minute. We can exhibit it. No better. We can charge people to play it. 20 bucks. 25? Wait a minute. 100 people. 25 bucks. <laughs> never, never, never. I'm not going to charge people to play it. That, that's a, that's, that's a, a stupid... easy way to make a lot of money. You know. Love is not all you need. Where is it? I gotta pick it up. It's... Uh... Where are you going? To make a million dollars. <laughs> baby, you're a rich man. Baby, you're a rich man. <laughs> yes, lot number 67, the Grateful Dead item. I'll be right back. Uh, you a deadhead? Isn't everybody? <laughs> Uh, I saw the dead once. <laughs> I've seen them 341 times, man. My wife's seen them 97 times. My kids, Pigpen and Ripple, they've seen them 68 times. Wow. <laughs> you know, I, I met him once. Who? Jerry. November 27th, 1973. San Jose, man. He came around this corner, right? And he said... Hey, watch it, man. Huh? Hey, watch it, man. Watch it, watch it, man. Come on. I was tripping off that for a week, man. 
said, hey, watch it. <laughs> to me. Jerry. That's nice. Uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I, I bought one of John Lennon's guitars. He never played with the dad? Here you are, sir. Jerry Garcia's beard. Jerry. Watch it, man. Yes. Oh, hi. Uh, lot number five? Yes. Okay. Make your check out to the Feldman Auction House. Peter Tork. Hi. Hi. Want a kiss? Oh, sure. Thanks. Boy, this this is great to meet you. I'm a big fan of the monkeys. Thanks a lot. Did you buy something here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a shirt. Oh, whose? Mine. Somebody stole it and I want it back. It was real comfortable. Oh, hello, Mr. Tork. I have your shirt right here. That's not my shirt. That's Davies. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Damn. <laughs> well, here you are, sir. I can't believe I really got this. It's kind of light. It... Where, where's the guitar? What guitar? The, the guitar I bought. Uh, lot number five was a guitar case. <laughs> Wait, 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 you're kidding me. You, you, you mean I spent $601 for John Lennon's guitar case? No, you spent $601 for Julian Lennon's guitar case. <laughs> Now on the Stephen Banks show, the Bonehead of the Century Award. The nominees are the man from Decca Records who turned down the Beatles in 62. The man who said Chevy would make a great host. And Stephen Banks for buying Julian Lennon's guitar case. And the winner is... Banks! That is correct. Okay, where is it? What's this? It's over there. It's... Pepper, we got a bit of a problem. Oh, it smells just like John. <laughs> Where's the guitar? There is no guitar. Well, it's still John Lennon's case. We could charge people to hold it. It's not John's, it's Julian's. You spent $601 for Julian Lennon's guitar case? Banks, please leave a message. <laughs> you paid six hundred and one dollars for Julian Lennon's guitar case. What a schmuck! Hang on a second. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, Banks, I got one of the Lennon sisters' guitar cases. Uh, you wanna buy it? <laughs> what an idiot! Hi. Hi. I was just up at the supermarket and I heard about your guitar case. Uh, must be worth something. Not 601 bucks. Well, maybe someday Julian Lennon will get really, really famous. Yeah, right. So will I. What are you gonna do with it? Burn it. It's, every time I look at it, I feel like a complete idiot. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way every time I look at my wedding pictures. <laughs> What's your shoe size? What? Your shoe size. Ten and a half. Why do you... Well, I was just up at my brother's. They're elevens, but you can always wear thick socks. Whoa. Beetle. These are... These are... Thanks. You... Well, oh, I have to get that. Mariana, these are great. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, one more thing. The rent... <sighs> Damn, I forgot. You want your Beetle Boots back? No, just the rent. Tomorrow, I promise. You better. Thank you, 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 you. 
Dear Julian, here's a song I'm going to record, Love Dad. So, what was Julian Lennon like? Julian was a darling, a lovely lad, an absolute dear. Someday, the world will appreciate him. Our next item, Julian Lennon's guitar case. The bids will begin at $500,000. $600,000. $700,000. $800,000. Sodas are available in the lobby for $95,000. Plus one, two, three, test. Test one, two, three. Okay, Stevie, sing your little song. Yeah. 